to talk, he'd vanished. And we carried on for about half an hour, maybe 20 minutes beyond that, and then logged off. And I immediately went to WhatsApp to say what had happened because the live stream was just cut short mid-conversation between me and Johnny. But Warren hadn't been... He just vanished like 20 minutes beforehand. And he'd sent me one like he'd sent me one word and it said police. And that was at half past eight last night. So I've spent all morning, all evening, all morning worried. I tried phoning him at eight. I tried phoning him at 10 p.m. last night. It still said he hadn't been online from um, 8.35. I kept checking it. I know Warren's time timeline because we, we check in with each other all the time. He's usually up about 6.30 in the morning. He was not up this morning, as in he hadn't logged on on his phone. And I knew at that point that he'd been arrested. I've just spoken to him. He's just got off a train from Bristol where he was taken last night after being arrested at his home. He was invited to go for interview um, by the police. They knocked on his door during the live stream. They asked him if he would go in for an interview. He said no, he wouldn't go freely. They arrested him. They took him in a police car to Bristol, which is miles away from his home. And they um, and and they attempted to give him a caution for mal information and this is based on this new social media law that has just come in and there's three things that they're able to prosecute us for misinformation where we have lied about knowing that information is untrue disinformation which is where we've ha we've provided information despite not knowing necessarily that it's untrue and malinformation, which means the information provided is not untrue, but it will cause harm to do so. Now, fortunately, Warren is a man of connections. He's got a very good lawyer who has pointed out that under Article 39 of the UN Charter, he has every right to share information. <laughs> you know, we have freedom of speech in this country, allegedly, but Mr. Warren Thornton was held by the police overnight last night for malinformation. So not for false information, but for information that the police of this country, that the crown of this country believe should not be shared because it will cause harm. Now, obviously, Warren's defence will be exactly the same as mine will if I'm in this position. I believe that not sharing this information is harmful not sharing the information that Warren is sharing at the moment, not providing people with really what's going on on the ground, not explaining to people what's happening with our money, not explaining to people why our energy bills, our food bills and our um, lives have gone up in cost so much. That is what's causing harm to our societies. And that's why both myself and Warren do what we do. That is the joining factor. He does military stuff. I do more political stuff. But that is what that is our root. Our roots are the same. We both have deep love for our country, deep love for our families. And we want to see people made aware of what is really going on here. And last night, Mr. Warren Thornton 